Hi all. Today we are going to demonstrate to you people how EAI ESP Boomi App Insights helps in continuous build and deploy Boomi processes in an enterprise. Now let us dive into the demo. Provide the appropriate credentials and click on the login button as shown. Select the CICD tab as shown. To create a pipeline click on the add pipeline button. Here we can see the five stages of deployment in the pipeline they are. They prod, UAT, SQA, FUT. If required we can shuffle the pipeline as of your requirement. We can also observe that the table below changes accordingly to the changes done to the pipeline. Provide the pipeline name, pipeline description as per your requirement. Now let us move to the Boomi platform to view the list of environments. Click on the Add Pipeline button to add the pipeline. Now click on Add Project to create the project. Provide the data in the required fields. Click on the Create button as shown. Here we can see that the project is created successfully. Select the project to view the project details. Click on the More Info tab as shown. Click on the Artifacts tab to add the artifacts if any required. A pop-up raises, select the folder and we can view the components present in that folder. Select the required components and choose the required version to deploy. We can also delete the component if it's not required. Later click on the Add Artifacts tab as shown. Click on the Refresh tab to refresh the project. Here we can see that the component was added to the project. Now let us deploy the component in the DAO environment. To that click on the deploy as shown. The pop-up prizes provide the data in required fields and click on deploy. Once again click on the refresh button to view the status of the deployment and the next environment to deploy. Now navigate to Boomi to view the deployments in the platform. Here we can see that the details of the deployed component. Now let us deploy the component in the FUT environment. To that click on the deploy as shown. The pop-up prizes provide the data in required fields and click on deploy. Now let us deploy the component in the SQA environment. To that click on the deploy as shown. The pop-up prizes provide the data in required fields and click on deploy. Now let us deploy the component in the UAT environment. To that click on the deploy as shown. The pop-up prizes provide the data in required fields and click on deploy. Now let us click on the CICD status, Kanban, tab. Here we can view the status of the components, as shown. Now let us click on the CICD and Kanban, tab. Here we can view the next environment to be deployed. Now let us deploy the component in the prod environment. To that click on the deploy as shown. The pop-up prizes provide the data in required fields and click on deploy. Now let us click on the CICD status, Kanban, tab. Here we can view the status of the components, as shown. Now let us click on the CICD and Kanban, tab. Here we can see that no pending components to be deployed. That's all for this video, stay tuned for more updates. For any queries please reach us at widget.trade at the rate of eaiesp.com.